So, it's me, your boy, okay, Samson. So, I have something special for us today. You know, many of us need to understand this. You truly have zero friend, zero love. They don't care what they did to you or what they put you through. You know, many of us have not fully come to realize that as a chosen, no one on earth care about you rather than God. Let me just be real with you. If you are thinking that people whom you are doing good for, or your masters, or people who are promising you heaven and earth, that they love you, believe me, you need to watch this video. No one truly love you. Because they know that loving you is not bad. But why would they love someone who everything about him is greater than them? Let me just be real with you, because the truth is this, they know that everything about you is totally different from them. They know that everything about you is totally what you need. So with that, you will never expect them to love you. <laughs> because most time, people will put you into trouble. Why? Because they feel like you don't have trouble. Because they know exactly that your God is bigger than the trouble that you are you you may be thinking you are facing. Because they know that every trouble you encounter, you have you have a God that is bigger than it. <laughs> Let me just be real with you. You got what I'm saying? So they don't love you. If you are thinking that tomorrow, if something happened, your friends, your families, your relatives. They will be there for you. You need to understand. No one truly care. Because why would they care when they themselves depend on you secretly? Despite of the fact that they hate you. Why would they support you when they know that all it takes to be great lies in you? Why would they do what be comfortable to assist you? Whereby everything that they are looking for. Is right in your hand. <laughs> I pray that my parents will not watch this video. So what am I trying to say is this. Don't expect your enemies. Don't expect people around you. Or don't come to that point where you'll be feeling that they love you. They don't love you. They don't care. They don't even wish to and not talk less of loving you. Because why would they think about it if you ought to be in their shoe? Think about it. You are the one that is protected. You are the one that is looking good. You are the one that is doing exploit. You are the one that is being chosen. You come what saying? And you still expect them to love you. They can't. So they don't love you. No one up there truly love you. If that is your mindset, choosing ones, they don't. All their love is what they can benefit from what God have given to you. Just yes, believe me. Everything that they love within their self, everything that they hope, the reason why they are hanging around with you is not because they love you. Think about it. How many of your friends left you when you involved in difficult time? How many of your friends were with you when you encounter some problem? How many of your friends can you recall that was there when things become tough? Why? Because they don't care. They know the they know the benefit of being with you. That is the main reason why they are with you. Not that they care whether things turn or things don't turn. But the only thing that keep them staying is what they can benefit in hanging around with you. So don't expect them to love you when you have everything that they need. Because they can't love someone whom they know that they are not doing more better than. They cannot love you or care or like you when they knew right from the beginning that your calling is higher than their calling 
Your purpose is bigger than their purpose. Your dream is higher than their dream. Your vision is higher than their vision. Your imagination is higher than their imagination. So they can't love you. They can't because they see your dream. They see everything and they see their own and they can use their own to compare your own. Yes, they may have more than you, but they know accurately that what you carry is much more than what they do, what they have in right in their hand. Because the thing they have in their hand can wash away, but what God has given to you remain forever. And that is why they hate you unconditionally. So don't expect your enemies to love you when you are the main, main word, main middle man, main word, main boss, when you are the one that holds the key of all that they want. Remain blessed. May God bless you.